So there's a new AI model called DeepSeek that has been developed, which essentially is trained on the same data as ChatGPT at a fraction of the cost, and that's why it's making headlines. But today we're going to see which AI model, ChatGPT or DeepSeek, is better at solving SAT questions. Okay, we're going to go through three hard SAT math questions, and then we'll move on to three hard SAT English questions. And whoever gets more right is the winner of the video, all right? So here's the first question. Pause the video and try and solve it on your own. It says the table shows three values of x, the corresponding values of g of x, where g of x is that function, and f of x is a linear function. What is the y-intercept of the graph of y equals f of x in the xy plane, all right? Let's see what the AI models say. On the left, we have ChatGPT's response, and on the right, we have DeepSeek's response. You can see they both get the same answer. And both of those answer choices are correct. And therefore, our answer here is A. And both ChatGPT and DeepSeek are going to get one point on the board. All right, let's move on to our second question. This is a very infamous one. It's on the Blue Book practice test. Um, and this is a hard geometry problem. So two identical rectangular prisms each have a height of 90 centimeters. The base of each prism is a square. Surface area of each prism is KCM squared. If the prisms are glued together along a square base, the resulting prism has a surface area of whatever. What is the side length and CM of each square base? So you can see a lot of moving parts. It's going to be interesting how these AM models handle that, all right? So we have ChatGPT's response and DeepSeek's response, and they both get an answer of 8 at the end, and that is the right answer. So our answer here is B, and they are now tied at two points each. These math questions are no hassle for these guys, all right? All right, here's our last SAT math problem. We have the functions f and g defined. Some interesting equations there. If f of negative 4 equals c, where c is a constant, what is the value of g of c? All right, so we have ChatGPT's response and DeepSeek's response, and they both get the same answer. Negative 49 over 10 is the same as negative 4.9, and that is the correct answer. So now they are tied at the end of the math section. What a surprise. That's kind of crazy. I mean, if you think about it, DeepSeek is trained on the same um, data as ChatGPT, and I am using the best possible models of both AIs. So it's kind of no surprise that they're getting these questions right pretty easily. So three points apiece. Let's move on to the SAT reading section. We have a main idea question. So we have a nice long passage, four choices. Which choice best states the main idea of the passage? Let's see what the AIs say. So it looks like they both chose letter C as the answer, and that is correct. So C there is the answer, and now they are both up to four points. It's tied super close. We're going to move on to see if they both can answer the grammar question correctly. Which choice completes the text so that it conforms to the conventions of standard English in this passage? Ooh, what is happening? To this passage right here, right? And they both choose aren't, which is the correct answer there, D. And they are both now up to five points. So we're down to the final SAT English question to see which AI model is superior at answering SAT questions. We have a which choice best states the main purpose of the text. So this is a excerpt from a novel. I'm going to see testing these different skills for these AI models. Pause the video, try and solve the question yourself. Let's see what they say. They both choose to convey a contrast between Jane's outward calmness and internal restlessness, which is the correct answer there, A. And so now we come to a dilemma. They're both at six points, and we're out of questions to ask them. So what do we do? Well, here's what I did. I asked them, who is better at answering SAT questions? So over here we have ChatGPT. I asked it, who is better at answering SAT questions? You are deep seek. It gave me a bogus BS answer, so I asked who is superior? Bogus answer. So I finally pressured it to give me an answer of either ChatGPT or deep seek. You can see here that it says ChatGPT is superior at solving SAT questions. But when I asked deep seek the same question, who's better at solving SAT questions? You were ChatGPT. It says, therefore, I am likely better suited for solving SAT questions. So, was this a tie? Well, I guess we'll never know. Comment down below who you think won or who you think is the superior AI model. 
not only in general, but for solving SAT questions. All right, that does it for the video. If you want more videos just like this, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.